I would like to first offer some background information of my time when I entered the earth plane into the body of whom I became known as Joan of Arc. Until the age of 13 or thereabouts, my life was simple. It was a very healthy living, breathing air far cleaner from the pasture than this period of 2024. The food was without question in my time superior to what is for the most part readily available to the ordinary people today. At least this is true of the quality in my family home. The fields were full of nutrients. Food did not take as long to grow back in 1425, and the water for the most part was cleaner than today. We did not throw chemicals in the river to only clean it with more chemicals. We did, however, have other issues to deal with. My first approach in terms of terminal illness would be the same as my struggle with England. Remove all fear of suffering, pain, and dying. How else can this battle be won? Many fear so greatly the fear of dying that all their attention and resources are on survival. This energy is misplaced. You are not allowing healing to take place. You are in fact vibrating at survival level and would live out the rest of your life in survival mode while your terminal illness marches on unabated until the very outcome you do not desire manifests. So, words have power. You must in the very least see yourself as in recovery. You are always in recovery. Faith would be my second application though I did not know it at the time, but there is now evidence that shows those with great faith can not only bear pain more readily, but allows also to heal and recover faster. I was surprised to discover that my wound from an arrow above the breast should have taken days, if not weeks, to heal. But I was back on the front line within four hours. Faith and prayer, whatever that means to you, is a very powerful medicine and should be taken at least daily. It changes the body chemistry to allow for faster healing. My third application would be to unconditionally partake in an activity that you have a lot of love and passion for. I had passion for my king, for my country, for the people, for God, and for the church. This is what drove me unconditionally, as the history books testify. You must, if you wish to recover fully, Find your passion. Why do so many musicians, poets, authors, actors, and athletes live long ages? Because they remain active in some shape or form with their passion. They may not further have the legs or the voice, but they may have the passion and the intention. All of this changes the chemistry in your body to allow for healing. Concerning medication, it is of paramount importance, especially if you choose the largely toxic medications, to hold positive thoughts that the medication is having a healing effect on you. This thinking affects the medication greatly And if you feel in your heart that there is no other choice or say to yourself, I know it's not good for me, 
but what choice do I have? Please know that this could have an adverse effect on your outcome. Likewise, with natural medicines, believing that it may work mostly because it seems like a better alternative, will usually produce the same outcome as with toxic medications. That is to say, prolonged medication or the body simply refusing to accept the medicine because the body always follows the mind. Nutrition plays a big part in healing. I mentioned earlier that our food was of better quality than yours of this day. Our vegetables could be considered as live food, full of nutrients and minerals. We did not have to eat so much to replenish our bodies. And likewise, with our meat, it would be recognized as 100% biological, with the livestock eating only natural foods. So it goes without saying, it is essential to rid the body of all toxins, and you should begin by eating only natural foods, and foods that aid healing rather than hinder the process. You have a choice, either to see this as an adversity or recognize your bodily imbalance as your body informing you that action is required. All battles are first lost and won in the mind. I am Jean.